it shouldn't be a, you know, a challenge. It shouldn't be, hey, I'm gonna decide to lose weight because we're having a four week challenge and there's money on the line, right? That's, now it definitely entices us to want to win that or, or whatever, but it shouldn't be that way. We should do this day to day, day in, day out without somebody nagging at you and talking to you about it, okay? So don't think about this as, oh, I wanna, I'm just gonna do this for 25 days. Yeah, it helps in the big picture, but don't think about that. Try to say, this is the way I'm gonna change myself and this is how I'm gonna start it up. This is what I'm gonna do to start and I'm gonna just gonna continue to live this way and live this life of, of health. So it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Eating right and exercising, you come in here every day and exercise, right? Because you've decided that this is the way I'm gonna make my life and this is the way I'm gonna change myself. Well, exercise is great and you've done a lot to your body by doing that, but now it's time you move forward from there and take it to the next level and add nutrition as the next piece. You've gotten to the point where you, work, you can work out every day, great, you've, you've established that. Now let's, hey, now I'm gonna eat right every day. So, and we're gonna be here to help you get there. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's hard. There's a, there's a big uh, you know, emotional piece to eating. Guys, girls, everybody, we eat when we're bored, we eat when we're sad, we eat when we're happy, which is, that's just the way we've, we've grown up. That's the way we were raised, or that's the way, that, that's the American way of life, I should say, is eating, <clears throat> you know, we, we gather and we eat. Even last night, I mean, we're associated around fitness. What did we do? We brought food in, we exercised a little bit, and then uh, had some beverages and ate cookies, right? So. <laughs> That was, the, that was the last one, right? Last party. Besides, we're not even focusing on weight loss, weight gain right now. I wanna talk about fitness, okay? Because we all have that in common already, okay? We all wanna be fit, right? So, in order to be in a state of fitness, we have to have all of these pieces here, okay? And this is kinda small, but I'll t go ahead and talk about it. So. We have the uh, theoretical developmental hierarchy of an athlete. So in the base of this is nutrition. Okay? So without nutrition, and I want you to try and envision this, envision this, we have our house. So I have my house. What do I have underneath my house? Foundation. foundation. So nutrition is my foundation of, for my fitness and I only eat good half of the time, now I just wiped out half your foundation. So what's gonna happen to that half of your house? It's gonna fall down, right? So with that being said, everything that's stacked up on top of our foundation, CrossFit, metabolic conditioning, gymnastics, weightlifting, throwing, is you're not getting the true benefit of CrossFit. So you're doing all this work and you're wasting it away by eating crap okay so that's just a little rant that I have so let's talk about fitness what is fitness can anyone tell me what fitness is no it's a true question okay yeah you're getting it wrong all right anyways fitness it's not just about being fit you know who's got the the best uh fran time but it's uh you know, increased work capacity over broad times and modal domains. So that's outside of exercise, that's being fit up here. Eating right, having stable hormones, hormone levels is gonna help you, okay? So, and we can do that through diet. And if you've listened to Carlos's speech or me speak before, okay, we'll talk about uh, the hormonal response that our body has to food. So when we eat carbohydrate, what happens? What does our body do? Blood sugar goes up, body produces insulin to bring it back down, right? Our insulin stores carbohydrate as for fuel. What happens if we don't use that fuel? 
turns into fat, okay? And if we don't burn that fat, it stays fat, okay? We continue to go on. Glucagon is the uh, hormone uh, released when your body, or when you consume protein, which helps mobilize that carbohydrate and use it as energy, okay? So now we're gonna go into talk about diet and talking about a balanced diet. So, CrossFit prescription, okay? And this is this simple, guys. Eat meat, vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar. Okay? I'll say it again. Meat, vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar. Okay? It's, that's plain and simple. Okay? So, what does no sugar mean? We'll start from the bottom, the hard part. What does no sugar mean? No sugar. No sugar, right? Does it mean... Does it mean uh, sweet and low? No, it's still sugar, okay? Does it mean Splenda, Stevia? So no artificial? No, nope, okay? That is still sugar, and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why, okay? Sugar is like heroin. If I did heroin, I think it'd probably be like heroin, okay? Okay, sugar, okay? James, remember uh, two summers ago when I told you I wasn't gonna eat fruit Okay, that was just fruit, okay? So I was like, I'm not gonna eat fruit for a month, James, okay? Like three days later, I was like, ah, I hate all you guys, okay? Anyways, our body, sugar has that effect on our body, okay? Our body is addicted to sugar, whether it's from uh, cane sugar or from fruit or from sweet and low, from my Starbucks drink, whatever. Agave, honey, it's all sugar. Your body processes it the same way and it feeds that craving. So just because you can say to yourself, all right, well, I'm not gonna uh, put sugar in my coffee, okay? You're, I'm gonna put uh, sweet and low in my coffee or I'm gonna get a, you know, a creamer that has uh, Truvia in it, okay? It's still processing the same way and your body still has that addiction. You're still feeding that addiction, okay? So we've got to, st and that's the hardest part, that's why I'm starting there. Okay, we've got to, you, if you can knock out sugar from unnatural, or from, from not natural source sugar, so I'm saying like the sugar that comes in an, an apple, I'm not talking about that sugar, I'm talking about added sugars. Now our body processes it the same way, okay? So feed that craving, okay? Play with your diet a little bit. Eat a prune. Prune has a ton of sugar in it, okay? One prune. 23 carbohydrates. That's a lot. Okay, so we're gonna feed our. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and get you guys to feed your body in a different way. So, when I say eat meat, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, I'm talking about 40% of your diet should come from carbohydrate. Okay, so where are we gonna get our carbohydrate from? In, if I'm following this, where's my carbohydrate, guys? No. Vegetables. Vegetables. Okay. Carbs is not bread. Okay, we're not eating bread. We're not eating tortillas. We're not eating no rice. no rice, okay? No pasta. Let's just, let's just start making a list of no's, okay? <laughs> so no bread, no tortilla, no pasta, no rice, no oatmeal, no cereal. Yeah, okay, what you can eat right here, super easy, okay? You have no options, right? I'm gonna be honest with you. You got meat, all right, and you got vegetables, and you got nuts and seeds, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of starch, and we don't get sugar. So it's that simple, okay? So, in my diet, my carbohydrates need to come from vegetables, right? Simple, okay? So I draw this and I, I do this. This is a plate, actually, not a graph, okay? So on your plate, okay, when you're eating your meals, this is what I want you guys to do, okay? 40% of your plate should be covered with a, a source of carbohydrate, okay? Not the bread, okay? Not the pasta, okay? Vegetables, plain and simple. 40% of your plate should be covered in vegetables. Now let's talk about vegetables. What are good vegetables to eat? Broccoli, Broccoli squash, zucchini, okay? Cabbage, great. Brussels sprouts, spinach, okay? Now, okay, what's a bad, what's a, a corn is not a vegetable. Corn is a grain. Corn is a grain, okay? So, 
Okay. Let's go. Let's let's kind of go off on this a little bit some more. Okay. So we heard a couple good responses. Okay. So we got some cauliflower. We got carrots. We got squash, zucchini, broccoli. Sweet potato, that's a starch, okay? But so now we've got to think about, we want, I want you to think about what the sources this is coming from, okay? So, my carbohydrates. I've got a monster pile of broccoli, okay? 40% of my plate's covered in broccoli, all right? Not corn, all right? <laughs> so, when you're choosing your carbohydrate, let's think about nutrient density. Okay, I, I don't want to blow blow your mind right now, let's, but let's think about nutrient density. If I've got, okay, a pile of lettuce is not nutrient dense, okay? Yeah. That's just a pile of lettuce, okay? Let's think about nutrient density, okay? So Brussels sprouts, you know, broccoli is great, squash, squash and zucchini are probably my two favorite to, to uh, use. You can chop them up, cook them, and they, they keep well and they reheat well, okay? Sometimes broccoli gets a little bit soggy. Okay, asparagus is another great, great uh, choice. Okay, so think about nutrient dense. I don't want a pile of lettuce. Okay, that's not 40% of my diet. You got to eat a ton of lettuce to get 40% of your diet coming from carbohydrate. If you choose lettuce as your carbohydrate. Okay. Fat. What's up? Romaine. Even romaine. Even romaine. Okay. Okay. Nutrient density. And, and you know, this is all. These are good questions. This is, and I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to inform you here, okay? Because obviously most people think corn's a vegetable. That's what we grow up on, right? Oh, we're going to eat corn. That's my vegetable. That's what, uh, you know, not a problem. Beans are a vegetable. Beans are a vegetable. Okay, now I'm not going to go on to the whole paleo zone, okay? I'm not going to go on to... Uh, to um, quality, if you will, of, oh, you can't eat legumes and whatever, okay? Well, for, for, for this, go ahead and eat beans. That's fine, okay? You want to eat green beans? Great. Green beans aren't, but watch the green beans, though, because they're not very nutrient-dense, okay? But they're, they're a reasonable choice, better than lettuce, I'd say, okay? So, fat. Let's go with fat. What are some good fats we can eat? Now, keep this in mind. I want you to think this. This is, this is kind of confusing. I don't want 30% of your plate to be covered in fats. I want, that's 30% of macronutrients, okay? 30%, this is kind of confusing when it gets to fats, okay? You can eat too much fat. You can eat too much fat. Fat doesn't make you fat, or it can, but it typically won't. But we don't want 30% of our plate covered in, in avocado, okay? I don't want you to eat two avocados with your every meal, okay? Because you're gonna get fat doing that, okay? <laughs> So 30%, okay, and we'll talk about what, what that would look like. So if I'm going to make my plate here, so I'm gonna just going to say that I've got a, an entire zucchini, okay, on my plate. Okay, it's chopped up, cooked, seasoned with some, some, uh, some garlic and uh, olive oil, some pepper on it. It's tasting great, right? Okay, now I've got my fat. What do I want for fats? You, you can get fat from meat. You can, okay? No, okay. So we'll, we'll go on this topic. I would say don't go off on and say get your fat from meat. Don't use the fat in meat as a source of fat. Eat lean meats, okay, for weight loss, okay? Eat lean meats, okay? If you're not worried about weight loss, you're fine eating a marbled ribeye, okay? But if you're trying to lose a few pounds, eat the sirloin. Okay. So eat a leaner or a piece of chicken. Okay. So fat, we're talking nuts and seeds. Okay. Avocado or not avocado. Um, avocado is a great source, but almonds, cashews, macadamia nuts. Okay. A handful, not a heaping handful like this. Okay. Just a, a little scoop. Okay. Is, uh, is, is enough. Okay. This maybe, uh, 15 almonds, if you're really counting. What's up, Kelsey? What about peanut butter? No. No. Okay. Now, now I'll tell you what. If you, if you don't like almond butter, then you want to use peanut butter, you can go to HEB, okay? And there's the grinding machine that grinds it up, and that would be your better source of peanut butter than uh, 
Skippy with Reese's, <laughs> which is absolutely amazing. But it's not good for us, right? Okay. You know the Peter Pan peanut butter with uh, Reese's flavor in it? Okay. Bad timing? Okay. So that's go we're going back to quality. So if you can see this peanut get ground up and put into a dish, it's okay. 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 It's okay. Okay. Cheese. Is cheese on there? No. No. No dairy. No dairy. What? You want to? Okay. Um, don't go on off my plate. Uh, this is not the USDA. It's John's Nutrition Talk. Okay. So no. Okay. No dairy. No dairy. Okay. If, if you're. Why no dairy? I can't have sugar or dairy. No. No. Okay. It's, it's, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a bad source of, of fat is what it is, okay, um, it's too processed, it's, you know, something you don't want to, you, you don't want, now, I'm going to get on, I'm going to get on to talking about that, okay, uh, but I'm going to go over this basic, basically, over this basics first, so let me write dairy so I remember Okay. So, we've gone over okay, my fat. So I'm going to eat I'm going to eat this is what we I want to get from you. You guys are kind of uh, not giving me much here. We're going to eat nuts and seeds as our fat, okay? Yes, that's it. That is it. Okay? What kind of seeds? Seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. Uh, you can go and go and where go where all the uh, the the nuts are in the you know, you can use the dispenser area they have at HEB, or even on where they have the uh, canned or, or jarred. You can see, like, if you look, there's sunflower seeds, there's pumpkin seeds, there's, okay, these are great sources. I'm not talking about, like, the ranch flavored uh, sunflower seeds, okay, as using that. Okay, now we're talking about adding sugar to our, okay, don't get the, the cinnamon chocolate almonds, okay, get the natural source of almonds, okay? But they can be salted, right? Salt is, salt is, for this, you're fine, okay? Is it the, this is going to go, I'm going to go on to, I'm going to go into pick and choose your battles here, okay? This is going to be when we go and talk about dairy, okay? Getting on the right path is the most important thing, okay? Getting on the right path. So if I'm eating good carbohydrate, I'm eating okay, I'm, if I'm still eating salted almonds, okay, it's better than eating a donut. It's better than eating a donut, okay? All right, now let's go talk about pro or protein. What are great sources of protein? Fish. Chicken. Lean proteins, okay? Like I said about the ribeye, if you're interested in weight loss, lean sources of protein, eggs, fish, chicken, are going to be your better options. Jerky. Okay. That's great for a snack. Not for, uh, yeah, sugar. They, if you look on, on any jerky, they use sugar to cure it, okay? So if you make your own, if you have the dehydrator and it's fine, but you're using sugar, that's why jerky is sweet, okay? So we've got lean proteins, we've got good sources of fat, okay? I like to use avocado, I want you to know avocado but don't overdo it on avocado. Half of an avocado is plenty, okay? Plenty, okay? I wouldn't do a half of avocado with every meal, but sometimes it, it keeps the, it makes the dish just right, okay? If I'm doing a, a sirloin, you know, and I've got a bunch of asparagus, a half of avocado goes great with a steak, okay? So, there's our plate, okay? We got meat, we got vegetables, Nuts and seeds. Now let's talk about some fruit, a little starch. Okay, we've already talked about no sugar. So some fruit means less than I'm eating in any of these. Okay? So if I'm eating a six ounce uh, chicken breast, okay? That's like a piece of my hand, right? Three quarters of my hand. It's a pretty small chicken breast, okay? Now I'm going to say I'm going to eat some fruit, okay, less than I'm eating in, in my 
protein, okay? So that's what I mean. So if, if, if you can say, all right, I'm gonna eat this apple, okay, that's your serving of, of fruit, okay? Don't eat an entire bowl of fruit salad that you made the previous night with strawberries and, and blueberries, and because now all you're doing is you're countering everything else you're doing. You're throwing all that sugar back into your diet when we're trying to get away from the sugar cravings, okay? It says, so some fruit, little starch means less than you're eating of fruit, okay? So if you're eating one piece of fruit a day, say one apple a day, you need to eat less starch than you're eating a fruit, okay? Some, some, okay? And we'll go on to that, okay? We'll go on to that, but shakes. Say what? Sh starches. So you have starchy vegetables, okay? So you get sweet potatoes, okay? Regular potatoes are a starch, okay? So we're not, right now we're not talking paleo zone. So potatoes are starches. Let's talk about, like, you got beets. Beets are starchy. Um, a lot of starches, you know, you go into, like, you know, Rices and pastas fall under starches, okay? We're trying to avoid those, okay? That's, but if we were gonna have that, it would be less than we're eating of fruit, okay? So it's very minimal, what's up? My problem is portion control. Portion control, okay? So we can talk offline and I'll, I'll do that. So right now, I wanna give you guys just general information and if you, we wanna talk portion control, we can do that at a different time, but that's a whole nother hour long talk when we talk portion control. And I can talk to you guys individually about that, okay? Um, do we have any questions about what we should be eating? Back to that dairy thing. Back to dairy, okay? <laughs> so, no, you sh okay, so the, the an answer is simple. No, you should not be eating dairy. If you're interested in weight loss, you should not be eating dairy. It's high in calories, it's high in fat. Not even okay? milk? No, absolutely not. Okay, it's a that's so now we're picking and choosing our battles. Okay, so instead of I'm I'm used to eating or drinking milk, now I'm gonna substitute it with a glass of unsweetened almond milk, not vanilla almond milk or chocolate almond milk. Okay, so picking and choosing your battles. Okay, I uh I had a a talk, and I'll just go on. I had a talk with a member here last week about diet and talked about picking and choosing battles, okay? If I can eat good, okay, three meals a day, that's not a problem, but I just can't give up that one thing, okay? Say it's a, say it's a glass of milk. Say it's that I want a glass of milk at, at night or with my breakfast. If that's the worst thing you're putting in your body, then you're, you're doing all right, okay? You're doing just fine. If that's the worst thing, if you can be honest with yourself and say, look, I'm eating good breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm eating good snacks. I'm not eating ice cream at night before I go to bed. A glass of milk isn't going to kill you. A glass of milk is not going to kill you. Uh, a Diet Coke isn't going to kill you. Okay? It's not going to kill you. All right? Picking and choosing your battles. Okay? If you want to if you wanna, wanna drink that Diet Coke, eat good breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and treat yourself once or twice a week. Okay? Simple. Simple. Okay? Shakes. If you're interested in weight loss, okay, don't drink a shake. No, not a milkshake. <laughs> don't drink a milkshake. Okay? Your protein shake, okay? So now we're talking liquid calories versus whole foods, okay? The way your body burns, okay, and, and your metabolism works is it wants, your body craves whole food and it's like a, it's like a furnace right we want to put coal into the furnace we don't want to pour gasoline on it and get it to spike up real quick and then burn out okay your body consumes that you consume that protein shake and it's great it sucks in all those nutrients but it does nothing for your metabolism okay and that's where a lot of people that are in the position that they are whether it's weight loss or whatever, okay, if you're needing weight loss, it's because you have fueled your body, and even if you're eating right now, it happens. People can eat right to this day and not lose weight. You can eat right and not lose weight, and it's, you've got to figure it out. You've got to restart your metabolism. You've got to fire it up, okay? It makes sense, right? 
if your body's drinking in all these calories, my body's not having to do any work, right? It's just soaking it all up, soaking it all up, okay? What's up? Correct. Well, yeah. Now, your body, it, those are good foods, okay? So I'm not going to say that that's bad. And, uh, but it's better, your body, is, it's better to consume whole food and let it get your body actually work. It, it makes your metabolism, it makes your body work, okay? And now you're going to burn more calories throughout the day with a healthy metabolism, okay? So if I consume a liquid breakfast, I never really fire up my, my metabolism. A good breakfast, okay? Which is the most important meal of the day. So, okay, big thing with breakfast is not, especially uh, my morning exercisers, okay? I know if you work out at 515, it's really hard to eat something before then. But immediately after that, you should be consuming your breakfast, okay? It's really bad for the people that work out at 9.30 or 8.30. They get up at 6. They're like, well, I'm not going to eat because I'm about to go work out. And then, oh, I just worked out. Now I'm not hungry. And now I've been up for six hours. It's noon. I haven't eaten anything today. Horrible nutrition. Okay. So good breakfast. Okay. Eggs. <coughs> eggs is your protein. So my protein is going to be eggs. Okay. My fat. Again, some almonds. My carbohydrate. We good over there? Okay. I know it sounds weird, guys, but use eat some vegetables. Okay. Eat some vegetables. Like, with I do a lot of times I do scrambled eggs with spinach. In it. Spinach is fine. Spinach is fine. Um, now, breakfast. I like strawberries. Okay. So I eat strawberries a lot of times. I or I like to do a banana. Okay. That's my serving of fruit for the day, typically though. One time. Day. Like for the day. One. Yes. One fruit a day, okay? <laughs> Not a lot of fruit, okay? It's really easy to overdo fruit, okay? Again, now I'm, I'm putting all these sugars back into my body, okay? But we go on to picking and choosing our battles. Is eating that piece of fruit better than eating the Little Debbie snack cake? Yes, okay? So. And berries are better. Berries? Berries are better than... Bananas are high in sugar. The greener they are, the better they are. Well, they don't taste as great, but oh, they're better for you. Way, they're not but uh, <laughs> you, they are. Correct. It'd be better to eat that plate of berries and spinach and use a, a whole source of protein than protein powder to start your metabolism. Okay, so if I go and I'm like, whatever, I'm driving to, uh, to Cleburne and I've got to go work and I'm like, shoot, I don't have any lunch. Now I've got to go stop somewhere and get something. Okay. Let's think about, uh, even if I go somewhere where I can get something good, say I go to the grocery store and buy some stuff, I'm going to spend $10 easy, right? By the time I buy a, a bottle of water and some, some meat and maybe, uh, whatever, a package of a package of mixed nuts and something else, I'm going to spend 10 bucks easily. Okay. If I go to Whataburger and get the number five large, I'm going to spend 10 bucks, right? Okay. So spending $10, which the do the meals are, that's the most expensive. Okay. Spending $10 on a, on a sirloin, on a bed of vegetables with a peppercorn crust, uh, you know, that's worth 10 bucks. Right, no, and now, <laughs> now you don't have to pay for the. Now you're paying for the convenience factor too. So now it's even more of a value. So now you don't have to go to the store and buy the food. Now you don't have to go and cook it. So you save yourself time, and time is something valuable, at least to me. I, I wish I had more time in my day, but I don't. So being able to spend ten dollars for for a healthy meal is well worth it to me. I'm not saying to to buy all 21 meals a week out of my sweet roots. But if you bought a few just 
hey, I got these couple meals because I'm going to be on the go and I know I'm not going to be able to uh, have time to prepare. It's a, it's a great uh, choice. Okay. Or if you're, you go home from the gym, you've got 15 minutes to get ready. You don't have time to sit there and blend up some eggs and chop up some fruit. Okay. Like we said, my, uh, the, uh, personal trainer food is super cheap, like $3 a meal, $3 a meal. Okay. And there's Groupons to make it cheaper. Okay. That's, you know, when it, I have a freezer in my garage that I keep meat, vegetables in from, from them. And it's a, you know, being that I'm always on the go, it's like, well, it's better than I'm picking and choosing my battles. That's a better choice than me stopping at Whataburger, getting a number five with a large Dr. Pepper and fries and spicy ketchup. Ah, and you need to boom, eat. And yes, what do you do? go to the grocery store, because there's always a grocery store, buy a rotisserie chicken, a, ro a rotisserie chicken, buy a rotisserie chicken, I'm not even lying to you, many times Kelly and I have been sitting there driving with a whole chicken in the car, okay, <laughs> picking at it, okay, it's a great choice, okay, it's a great choice, okay, if you're out and about, Okay, say, okay, um, you're going to uh, go to Dallas and you're going to go Christmas shopping. Well, instead of going to wherever, I don't know, I don't really go to Dallas, but instead of going to a fast food restaurant or, or convenience food restaurant, this is what they call them nowadays, okay, um, go to the grocery store, stop by their deli, you know, if they don't have any rotisserie chickens, get some lunch meat. Okay, it's just as time-consuming as going to a uh, just as time-consuming as going into a a restaurant or fast food restaurant. Correct, correct. There's, and then you're talking quality, quality foods. Questions? Is that what you're talking about, Kelly? The chicken, chicken. Buy an apple, you know, apple and some chicken. Great choice. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> plasticware, plasticware, and yeah, roll of paper towel. Guys, I just want you to know, uh, to truly get the benefit out of what you're doing here, you've got to dial in your diet. Got to dial it in. Okay, you feel better, you perform better. Okay. Uh, I I also had this conversation with a a member this week a different member, I said, you know, I know when people are eating right and when they're not. Because every time, if you ever came up to me and talked to me, I'm always going to ask you, what's your diet like? And I ask that question already knowing the answer, but I want you to know the answer because a lot of times we're oblivious to what we're actually doing, okay? We like to think, oh yeah, I eat good, okay? And I'm not going to, I'm not trying to, you know, preach here and say that I eat perfect because I don't by any means, but I attempt to, okay? And it's, it's, it's difficult, but I attempt to, okay? And for the most part, I eat pretty well, okay? I eat pretty well. Um, but I, I know the answer. When, when I see somebody who should be, you know, shedding some pounds or see someone who should be getting stronger or see somebody who should be faster or just see someone who's kind of in a slump, I already know the answer to the question. It's always, always diet, 100% of the time, okay? So. Next step, faster, faster Correct. You'll recover faster. You'll sleep better. You're going to be happier once you get off the sugar, okay? <laughs> you're gonna, sugar, you're going to be grumpy for a couple of days, okay? So I, I expect everybody to be pissed off on Monday, okay? <laughs> are, are we supposed to be hungry or is it? No, no, okay? If you're hungry, if you're hungry, eat. If you're hungry, eat. Fuel your body, okay, with what it's craving, okay? A lot of times, so here's just a little, a lot of times you're, when you start to crave that uh, sugar, okay, it's your body not craving sugar, it's craving a, a carbohydrate, okay? It's craving a carbohydrate. And 40% of your diet in carbohydrate is 
it's a lot. Okay, I don't consume 40% of my diet in carbohydrate. Nobody in this room probably does unless you're vegetarian, okay? Because then all you're doing is eating carbohydrates, okay? 40% of my, my diet in carbohydrate would be like an entire thing of broccoli. The entire thing. So, that's, that's just an idea. When we were talking about the zucchini, probably like two zucchinis, okay? Or like two squashes, okay? This is a, a lot, okay? When you're talking at a macronutrient level, the amount of grams of carbohydrates that somebody needs to consume in a balance with protein and fat, it's astronomical. Like, there's no way you can eat an entire thing of broccoli every day, three times a day. You will hate life, okay? <laughs> Steaming would be the better option, okay? Steaming would be the better option, okay? Over boiling, boiling, you, you lose, you start losing, and when you overcook them, you start to lose nutrients, okay? So st not steaming them too much, okay? But to a... To a, raw would be the best option, but you know it kind of gets kind of nasty when you start just chomping away at. Yeah, you can't have ranch either. Okay, <laughs> can't have ranch either. Okay, that goes back to say again. That's fine. That's fine. That's yeah. Okay, just tomatoes, peppers, onions, garlic, cilantro. That's a great, and that's great. To, and you've got to do things. To, to, you gotta, you can do these things to make your meals less boring. Um, you know, one of the things that I, when I was on a, there was a time where I think I ate, I'm not exaggerating here, for about six months, the only meat I ate was chicken. Okay? And uh, I got very lean doing it, okay? But it was a kind of boring. I ate chicken, broccoli, um, I want to say at that time in my life, I was eating brown rice with it as well, okay? Got very lean doing it, but the chicken got boring. So we had like every flavor of Mrs. Dash seasoning, okay? <laughs> so I could change it up, right? Okay? Using, yeah, there's a lot. Go to the, there's a whole rack of Mrs. Dash seasonings, okay? <laughs> Using those seasonings, that's going to make your life not so miserable, There's my number. Guys, I'll be your accountability I'm partner. I'm about to do it. <laughs> like, Yeah, if you guys have good ideas and, and diet or not diets, good ideas and good dishes that you like. Go ahead, post them, share, share with, uh, with everybody. And I, you know, I'll kind of do the same, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to let you guys know what I'm doing over the next, just to kind of help motivate you guys, let you know what I'm doing. All right, guys. So what are we supposed to eat? Some fruit, no little starch, no sugar. Okay, if you can remember that on your fingers, meat, vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar. That's your that's your winning prescription. Sorry, you're being trapped by. Ah. That's that's good right there. That's good. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? So, what about like regular potatoes? What, I mean, what, why versus wheat? But, um, I don't know. So, for, for today, we'll just talk about little starch. Okay. okay. Little starch. If you're, if you're going to eat some potato, it should be less than you're eating of fruit. And your fruit should be less than you're eating of nuts and seeds, protein, and carbohydrates. And so, okay, now you're going dairy. <laughs> so, no dairy. Even worse. Now, now, Danielle, hop up. Danielle, okay, makes ghee, okay, which I had some of her ghee this morning with my eggs, and I'm going to tell you guys, fantastic. 
It was awesome. It was, we, you can, okay, so you can get all, I, I don't take a multivitamin. So I don't take a multivitamin. I get the vitamins and minerals that I need from my diet. Okay, so if you're eating all those vegetables, you're gonna get the amount of vitamins you need. Now, does it hurt to take some vitamin C or multivitamin? No, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so I don't, th I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, one thing I, I want to touch on, uh, this, doesn't, this doesn't go for, for weight loss or for anything, but just for overall health and brain function and cardiorespiratory function is uh, fish oil okay, or actually omega-3. Okay? So consuming the right amount of omega-3 uh, is very hard to do with diet unless you eat like a Eskimo, you're not going to get the amount of omega-3 that you can get. Uh, so if you look on your, uh, if you buy some fish oil, you're going to look up, it's going to have DHA and EPA, okay? And it's probably going to be like 260, 240, and that's going to be milligrams, okay? So you need to, and that's going to be for one serving or, or whatever, the serving size of that fish oil that you buy. So it's not, if you buy a thing of fish oil and it says 1,200 uh, milligrams of fish oil, that's great. Look at how much omega-3, that's the makeup of omega-3, the EPA, DHA. You need to be consuming 3,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA. Not 3,000 of EPA and 3,000 of DHA, a combined 3,000 okay, milligrams of a day, yes. Okay? That's a lot. It is a lot. Okay, but you will also see faster recovery. Okay, everybody that's in here like, oh, my shoulder. You probably don't take fish oil. Okay, like you should. Taking one pill a day is not going to do it. Doing this every time you eat, take a couple of pills every time you eat. It's a great way to uh, get the amount you need. Okay, that's really important for uh, recovery in here. Even more so, brain function and uh, cardio uh, respiratory function. Questions? Water? You can, you can drink too much, yes. You can f start to flush out uh, minerals and electrolyte by drinking too much. A good, uh, yeah, about one ounce, well, it's hard to say, like, if you got a 200 pound uh, male and you're saying drink uh, 200 ounces of water, you're drinking too much. You're drinking too much, okay? I would say a gallon a day, try not to drink any more than a gallon. Now, obviously, if you're sweating like in the summertime when you're in the truck, you probably need to be, you know, drinking some, uh, I, I would be drinking some Gatorade with that, which I think you do, just because you're gonna sweat out all those and pushing that much water, you're gonna push out electrolytes you're gonna to start to cramp. Drinking too much water, you can still cramp when your body don't have when your body doesn't have the minerals that it needs. Okay, but I I try and I try and drink about a gallon a day. And it's really hard in the winter time, so this is a big thing as it's getting cold. It's hard to drink that much water. You find yourself not drinking as much fluid. You're gonna to have to force yourself to drink water. Okay, just because it's cold doesn't mean you don't need to drink. You're still you, your body's still using that fluid. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints about me? I know you guys complain about me behind my back. Well, I tell it right to you. You do? Good. Good. Tell me how it is. No. You guys, uh, now, we're going into the holidays, okay? Thanksgiving, Christmas, we've got uh, church functions, family functions. This is the easy time to get off track. Okay, it's an easy time to to have too many uh, bad things in your diet. So just do your best. Stay accountable to each other. Stay accountable to yourself. Most importantly, okay. Don't lie to yourself. Okay? If it doesn't fall into that, you know, hey, I shouldn't be eating. Yeah.